So now we're going to look at environment variables. And environment variables are pieces of information that are stored and retrieved just on a particular machine or a particular environment. And this is information that you don't want to be to expose in the source code. For example, a database password or an API key. So in Node, if you want to create environment variables, first you have to install something called .env. And if you look, the package name is just simply just dot env like this. So I'm just going to run npm install dot env like that. And I'm going to just wait for it to install. Okay, so next we need to import it into our um, script file. And to do this, you just say require dot env dot config like this. So in here, sorry, in here, just put this in right here and save that. To create and set up environment variables, you'd create a file like this with just .env like this. And here you set a variable name like this, and it's con common convention to put capital letters here and separate out words with underscore, and then an equals, and then the value right here. So it's just variable name equals value, variable name equals value. That's it. There's no quotes or anything. Now, if you want to access these variables, what we can do is console.log and then process.env like this and just put your uh, variable name in like this and save that. So now you just run the app or run the server and you can see that this environment variable right here, hello, is now being displayed. And if you have an API key or database password, you'll set them up here. This file will be kept secure and away from the source code. So you won't be putting this on Git or anything. And then you can just retrieve it right here. And if your source code gets leaked or you publish it, you don't have to worry about the API keys or passwords being leaked. So in this project, particular project, we don't need to install .env. It's already part of Glitch. So we have the .env file right here, and it'll automatically be imported if you add variables here. So what they want us to do is first store a variable message style equals uppercase like this. So we want to add a variable. We want to go to the .env, add a variable, then put message underscore style like this, and the variable value is uppercase, so it's just uppercase like this. And if we just, I think we might have to click this again. No, nope, that's it. So we just have to add the this variable right here. Then what it wants us to do is, in the get JSON root handler, it wants us to return this object if the message style is uppercase, which it is. So. If we go back to um, myapp.js and we have this right here. So what we can do instead of here is we can say app. We can just copy this in actually. And paste it in here. And we can say if process.env. So process.env is how you access the environment variables dot and then message style like this like that and then you can say is equal to uppercase we want to uh, send this instead so response.json and then this oops just copy and paste this one with the uppercase else so it means it's not uppercase. We want to send just this message right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Final thing to do is just comment out this part here so that um, we make sure we check the environment variable before sending. So what this does is it accesses the environment variables and it looks at the message underscore style variable, which is right here. and what this does is if it's equal to uppercase, which in this case it is, but it might be different on a different machine, um, it will send this out. Otherwise, it just sends this normal message with the small case that we've set right here. So 
what we're going to do now is just copy this and have a look. So if I just paste this in here, and then we root it to slash JSON because that's the root that we set. We can see that we have the capital letters right here. So our environment variable is now working. So that's all you really need to do. So you can just copy the uh, home page, which you can also get from here, and just submit it here. Yeah, that's it.